Hello, Jeff and Eva, if I may go with that. Um, what you're looking at here is the back end of your website. And uh, I was working on your contact us form and thought I'd just share a little bit of that progress. Uh, Eva, I know you'll recognize all of this. And here's a new item down here called CM Plugins and the contact us, uh, which we've just added. You could ignore galleries. That was just something I was playing with on my own. But contact us is what we're concerned about. And here we have uh, an example of an email address that would belong to your company. You can have multiple email addresses, and this is really for the future. Currently, you're only going to use this one, but in the future, you may have a situation where you need us to create a contact us form for, say, children activities and some totally different page. And so this will accommodate multiple forms for multiple pages. They'd have to be created, but it would be very easy to add those um, as opposed to the original coding. So it made sense to build that feature in there. So if I click on this, you get an idea of what's inside. And this is where we would configure who the email is being sent from. And that's what the user would see in their email box. By default, I put in some of our server information. This would actually work, but we would typically want to put in your information. Uh, notification info is who this email will go to when they press the button in the submit form. So this might have Eva's email address in here. And the notification, uh, a copy, which it would actually be sent blind carbon copy, you could put in a list of other email addresses separated by a comma if you wanted more than one person to get a copy of the website email. And uh, the notification is actually for you. Uh, the church would get a notification in their email box to whoever you wanted that notification sent to. And this would be the personal message. You could say, you know, hello, you have an email from your website, and you can add to that whatever, however you want to uh, embellish that. Uh, contact media. This is going to give me the ability to add a, a custom stamp uh, to your contact us form, kind of make it look a little bit more like mail. And uh, it's more of an artistic thing, not necessary, but uh, I wanted to include that. And messages received. This is a really important aspect of it. Most contact us forms on websites are just going to have the ability to email you the information. And if you lose that information, it's gone. This actually retains a copy of whatever emails are sent from the website so that if you need to look back at it for any reason, or you want to verify that somebody else has actually followed up on an email, even if you're not the person receiving it, you may, as an administrator, want to see what was received and if somebody's doing something with it. This will be row after row of those emails kept indefinitely uh, for you, and that'll be a valuable resource. So that's the kind of uh, power that you're going to have on the back end with respect to the Contact Us form. And uh, hopefully in the coming two or three days, I can knock out the front. I am chipping away at all of this a little bit every day, as I have tonight. And I hope to show you, uh, I'm trying to think if I have anything here. No, I don't, I don't have it to show you yet. I'll have something to show you here in a couple of days, I'm sure. So thanks for listening and watching. Have a nice day. Bye.